Um, so coming back then to whom we're talking with and getting to uh, to get to know you a bit better, uh, Jean Guy, could you give us some background, please, about yourself? Why and how you founded World Wellness Weekend and what your primary aim or vision is? Uh, I've been uh, actually we're celebrating with my company twenty years in operations. For the past twenty years, I've been uh, training people in hotel groups, spas, um, cosmetic brands with the idea of being well and helping others to be well also. Uh, not just through only massage techniques, but uh, a wholesome approach uh, of five pillars, uh, sleep and the creativity that can come with a good night's sleep. Nutrition, and not just what you put in your mouth to have a beach body, but what you decide to um, um, include in your microbiome, in your gut brain axis, and also the brain food that you will be ingesting. No, so not just keeping a balanced weight, but trying to be as yes, performance and nutrition and immunity, because we know that the immune system is uh, really strongly connected with the gut. And then movement and vitality, not just preparing for the Olympics, but being as, as mobile and active um, as possible mindfulness and serenity because it's not just about flexing your muscles it's about also clarifying your mind and, and this little piggy here is purpose and solidarity and with this one we can lift the world literally with 240 ambassadors so th those five pillars have been with me and in the trainings that i've been doing and for me training is not about filling up vases it's about lighting fires in hearts and in eyes so that people want to do it, want to take care of it. Uh, so when I hear that uh, Heidi has uh, an organization called Let's Do It World, well, you know, it, it totally resonates with me. 2015, I was so happy as a consultant, as a human on planet Earth to see that the United Nations reached a unanimous vote for voting for 17 sustainable development goals. And the third one is good health and well being for all. I was so happy because I could see the potential for hospitality and beauty and fitness to be part of good health and well-being for all. Only to realize in 2017 that a lot of people that I was asking in the industry or around were more focused on the SDGs that were uh, cleaning up the earth, cleaning up the oceans, sustainable cities, partnerships, gender equality. They were not seeing good health and well-being as something we could apply in hospitality, tourism, and also beauty and fitness. Uh, they thought it was really the realm of doctors and nurses and of um, vaccination. So in 2017, I rolled up my sleeves and I said, let's go, let's do it. I uh, started in France because I'm French living in, in Brussels, so France and Belgium, and we had 160 venues say, okay, Jean-Guy, we know you, we trust you. If you're launching something in September on the third weekend of September, which is a good time, change of seasons, and for a lot of um, fitness groups, September is the new January where people renew their vows of, of being more active. They're back from, school, from the holidays, so they're back at work, back at school. They want to get back into their routine. So we launched it and fast forward to last year, from 160 venues, we jumped to 6,300 and already we have close to 8,000 lined up. Uh, we started in two countries, fast forward to last year in 148 countries. So those five pillars of wellness, I believe are our answer or my answer as a Frenchman with now a team of uh, 240 um, volunteers from around the world to launch a party a fiesta, because if we look at the statistics of the World Health Organization, it's very scary, it's very depressing. And I know French people are among the, 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 the largest consumers or of antidepressants. Well, I thought, why focus on the fact that 60% of the world population when they're asked are saying that they don't sleep well enough, that 39% of the world population is overweight and 13% is obese, that when Europe is asking uh, Europeans if they're active, apparently 46% say they have zero activity, practice or routine, and 15 million people die too early each year because of chronic diseases, because of lifestyle related diseases, which are preventable. And I've lost already at the age of 55, too many of my friends to cancer and to so many other um, 
non-communicable disease. So I thought, instead of just looking at the data, let's throw a party and let's encourage people to be more active more often with what we call their wellness buddies, their friends, their colleagues, their neighbors.